Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. Today, we're going to talk about the spirometry. Today, we're going to talk about spirometry for the MCAT. We will discuss and define TLC, TVM, VC, TV, ERV, and IRV, all of which are related to the measurement of lung function and ventilation. Don't worry about what all of these acronyms mean right now. We're going to get into it. Starting off with TLC. TLC stands for total lung capacity, and it represents the maximum amount of air that the lungs can hold at the end of a maximal inspiration. It includes the sum of the inspiratory reserve volume, the IRV, tidal volume, TV, and expiratory reserve volume, ERV, as well as the residual volume, RV. Basically, this is the total amount of oxygen in your lungs. Next, we have TVM, which stands for the tidal volume per minute, or just referred to as the tidal volume. It represents the amount of air inhaled or exhaled with each breath, and it's typically measured in milliliters per minute. Think of your tidal volume as the breath you do while at rest. So while I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm slowly breathing in and out. Modeled here like this. They're kind of quick breaths. I'm not really taking my full lung capacity. I'm not doing a big inhale or a complete exhale, just staying kind of in the middle. So what were to happen if I were to do a big inhale? I could be testing what's called my vital capacity. Vital capacity is the maximum amount of air that can be exhaled after a maximal inspiration. So this is exactly what I just demonstrated, a full inhale and a full exhale. Next up, we have the ERV, which stands for the expiratory reserve volume. This is the amount of air that can be exhaled after a normal exhalation measured in milliliters. So think about just breathing normally, and then after you are done breathing, you use your diaphragm to kind of squeeze the rest of that air out. So just breathing, pushing that last bit out. The last type of breath we want to talk about is the IRV is the inspiratory reserve volume. This is the amount of air that can be inhaled after a normal inhalation measured in milliliters. Again, this is up top here. So this is just like after our tidal volume. So we're breathing normally. And then at the very end, we do a big inhale to completely fill our lungs. So just breathing, big inhale. It's important to understand these concepts because they're commonly tested on the MCAT and also have use in clinical settings for assessing lung function and ventilation. These measurements can be used to diagnose and monitor lung diseases such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, as well as pneumonia. So let's practice your diagnostic skills right now. A patient is suspected of having a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and is undergoing a lung function test. The results of such a decrease in the patient's vital capacity and total lung expiratory volume compared to normal values. Which of the following is most likely explanation for these results? Take a moment and try and solve this. I'll let you see the diagram to give you a little hint. The correct answer here is going to be A, an increase in the residual volume. Let's visualize this on a sliding scale for why this makes sense. So I'm going to paste this down here and play around with these. So we're told in the question that the vital capacity has decreased. Well, if we move up the expiratory reserve, if we move this line upwards, you can see that this would then decrease the vital capacity. So check that decreases our vital capacity. What else has changed? It tells us the total lung expiratory reserve volume, ERV, has also changed. Well, just by moving that one line, we can see the expiratory reserve has also moved, and it's now on top of the line. So let's rewrite that so it's a bit cleaner. So as you see, this would all be due to an increase in the residual volume, which is the only answer that makes sense out of these four. So we can confidently choose answer A. And here is a list kind of explaining what all of these, here is a list of all of the definitions of these if you want to see a textual form. In conclusion, TLC, TVM, VC, TV, ERV, and IRV 
are key concepts in the measurement of lung function and ventilation. Understanding these concepts are essential for MCAT students, as well as for future physicians in the diagnosis and management of lung disease. Thank you so much for watching our video on spirometry, and I'll see you next time.